You do the change. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I don't see any ladies. Okay, so good morning, gentlemen. Um, I believe um, you all follow the proceedings today. And of course, starting from Monday. On Monday, the petitioner closed his case after calling three witnesses. After closing his case, the respondents to their counsel informed the court that they had elected not to mount the witness box. What this means is that, or what that meant was that, the chairperson, Jean Mensa, and the representative of the second respondent, Mr. McMenu, were not going to mount the witness box to testify and be cross-examined by counsel for the petitioner, Mr. Chikata. You will all recollect that they had filed witness statements in the case. So naturally, counsel for the petitioner opposed this request or application by the respondents on the grounds that not only had they filed a witness statement, but by two affidavits by which they opposed our request for them to answer interrogatories and for them to produce certain documents. The chairperson particularly had said that she'd be available for cross-examination. Now, the petitioner's point was that under the specific rule Order 36, they had elected by this particular conduct to adduce evidence in court and therefore it was no longer open to them to tell the court that they were not going to give evidence. Of course, on Monday you heard the superior compelling arguments by Mr. Chikata and of course you heard the wishy-washy insipid arguments by the respondents. Nevertheless, the courts have ruled in favor of the respondents, saying that they do not agree with us, that even though this is the ECA constitutional body, the same principles that are applicable to ordinary people should be applicable to the Electoral Commission, and therefore they were upholding their request not to mount the witness box. Subsequently, also heard Mr. Chikata. He said, well, if that is the decision of the court, then he's going to apply. In fact, he's in the process of filing an application for us to reopen our case and to subpoena the chairperson of the Electoral Commission. And so that is the status now. So now, for us, those are important um, the important um, lessons to be learned from this. Now we have an EC who that we have an EC who when a request for information was served on them in the past they refused to respond. We have an EC who was requested to answer interrogatories. They refused to respond. We have an EC that was served with an application or a notice to admit facts, they refused. We have an EC that was asked to produce documents relating to the election. They also refused that. That's the kind of EC we are dealing with. I mean, where are the principles of accountability? When is this EC going to be accountable? Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Counsel for petitioner also announced that he will also file an application for review of the decision of the court. So that's two applications he'll be filing. I'm sorry, review of the decision of we had today. Today's decision. Okay. He will apply for a review of that decision. Okay, so maybe that even gives me the opportunity to ask this question. Uh, you have described as uh, superior the argument made by Mr. Chikata against the application yes. and as wishy-washy yes. the argument made by lawyers for the, the respondents. Yes. Uh, how 
would you in that position describe the, the ruling that we have from the court today? The ruling is the decision of the Supreme Court of Ghana. We have nothing to do but to accept it. We disagree with the decision and so we are going to file an application for review. Um, Madam, now that um, the court has set the 13th for all parties to submit their addresses, now that the court has set the 13th for all parties, 15th for all parties to... You file by 17th and um, your addresses and the court comes back on the 18th. Mm. We know, as you said, you made an application or filing, you are going to file an application for a review file another application for your case to be reopened when you write your addresses and it's brought before the court what becomes of these two applications especially the one for you to reopen your case because then by the time your addresses would already be written and provided to the court and what's next is that the court gives directions or a date for ruling well you heard his lordship he said that Nobody can stop us from filing an application. When application, an application is filed by a party, the court will deal with that application. And so we expect that the Supreme Court will take into consideration all these issues when dealing with the ap application. Thank you very much, Madam. Um, the Supreme Court was very clear in its ruling. It said that... I can hear you. I'm saying that Supreme Court was very clear in its ruling. It said that a petitioner in an election petition case stands on its own strength. Another, um, um, the, the, the respondent's witness. Is that what you sought to do? I didn't hear the last I'm part. asking if that's what you sought to do. I mean, using the respondent witness to make your case. Definitely not. We have the strength of our case, but the, as we have stated over and over again, the EC is accountable to us. She has to account for how did those errors arise? When did she discover those errors? What was the process of correcting the errors? We've seen for some regions, there are different summary sheets, different collation sheets. How did that come about? Who's going to answer this? Apart from that, remember that the petitioner is not the returning officer. The petitioner does not declare results. It is the EC that, or the chairperson that declares results in presidential elections. Does that answer you? My, my question is a follow-up to my yeah. brother's question. Um, in uh, giving their responses as to why the first and second respondents will not let their witnesses come to the box. Uh, the, the reason was they gave was that um, the petitioner had not made a, a case strong enough to warrant them presenting any witnesses. That's not what the Supreme Court. I don't. I didn't hear the Supreme Court really? say that. No. Well, I, I, I would like you to give me your understanding of what the... But that's how I understood it. I never, it. Heard, them, uh, I never uh, heard them say that. that, that's, that's, that, that was what the, the lawyers, the legal, the lead counsels for the respondents, first and second respondents, one of the reasons they gave was yes. that the petitioner had not made a case strong enough to warrant them presenting witnesses in, in the box. Uh, if that's not the case, I would like a response from you we as disagree. to what you understood. As simple. If we disagree. Hmm. Well, uh, that, that, as simple that's as because, that. Because then the, my question you then heard, would have you been... Heard, you heard yes. counsel for the petitioner on Monday. And we disagree with that position. That the evidence that has been given points simply to the fact that that declaration of 9th December is null and void. Nobody got, none of the two candidates got more than 50% of the valid vote. And, There's and only one declaration, 9th December declaration. So the petitioner... There were purported co corrections. Have you seen any gazette notification dated on any of the 
purported correction, the dates of the purported corrections. There is only one, 9th December, and the CI 135 talks about a declaration of 9th December. Okay, so then, uh, Honorable, if the petitioner does not get the chairperson of the EC to respond, does that then make your case a dead case? Because you seem to be insisting that she must, by all means, respond to certain questions. And we will insist. We'll cross that bridge. But I believe that the petitioner has made, we are convinced, the petitioner has made a case. Well, so the question is, if you are very sure in your case, why then the insistence on the EC entering the dock? Why would you not just allow the court to rule on what evidence has been availed to it so far? Can you, I can't hear you. I can't hear I'm you. saying that if you're, you believe in the petitioner's case, why then the insistence on getting the EC, the, the chair of the EC, to enter into the dock? Why not just allow the court to rule on what matters why don't we allow the EC to come? I am asking why the insistence on getting the EC to I mean to enter into the dock to be cross examined. If you if you before. if if you are sure about your the petitioner's case, why not just allow the the court to rule on your the case so far since the the, the respondents are withdrawing from yeah, 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 yeah. that there are questions that we put to her that. Only she can answer. Nobody else can answer. Irrespective of what case we have put before the court, there are questions in relation to this case that she alone must answer. All right. Uh, you yes. keep saying that uh, you uh, are depending or you are not depending on the witnesses of the respondents we are not and that you have your own special case. Can you tell us the exact case you you are standing on to, to, to deal with this um, petition? Have you seen the reliefs we've, we, we, are, we are, have you read the reliefs? Yes, I am, I am saying that you, you just said that you are not basing or you are not even expecting the witnesses uh, to, and to I make a case. The question. I answered the question that there are specific questions that she has to answer. It's as simple as that. Let's do some five minutes. Yo, any anon? I may say, and there you bar court as Citrano. As someone at the court, an impar or say, Ubua, and he say, A year, my major Mensa, or dinner on my letter commission. I was say, Oba, a dacanum, noba, a bein, and one hour. Munim say, Nano Juada, Yama, a lawyer for you now, crime will be a canassem. Namuinans mutier in Samoa, a year. Le chachuchi kata odina homa eye petitioner no odi tu dwa ewo court e wi echire no ye kani ina bo mo na ye ba ye no ni a court e ka kire ye ni se oni yen enya dwen se mame no e beba abetina adekanum na ade e wo ma ni se insem mi se di wo wa ye di atu dwa e di kan ye 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 bi se ye no ono a as a more debate to quote a number of things, see a title or say your back cross examination or be yano. Yes, some buyer your pen spectrum or your uncrate beam or see your back cross examination or be yano. Nasi do say, Brabet Nada can name this hour or say, Mamma, Minquada can now so court in your bois, sir, or no dear on the woman yard, you say, Mameno, Monko, and the and the ama ya lawyer peni and so they are too caught in any say no oh my car you know one woman you are doing and the your best sign at the creator but my name as the same woman sanja as a medium you hear no so few are your sign up as the court no say essence and you close your case and i have a case and send a man man who can say oh my dad can you mean to your son baby a case no so now yes a pina no you can say subpoena ya makota sheno se omra de kenum na insemu so yia na se so no kwa ne returning officer wo gana insemu se bi se no bi ntimi yia no kire ono de mensa no betimi yia no nti e ba ma court a hye no e bi subpoena apo atoa no akwa kwa hye no so omra de kenum no mra me insemu na no nti we ni insemu enu a 
ye lawyer for the two court in him, sir, ye the omu mamino baba de kem, a de canadier, ye gusugina de vijina, sir mamino, so chow chano of Kupano, our sir mamino, or baba jina de canum, so near Bonibia, Nasson for Bibia in Siedia, a de canadier, ye begina and answer, sir, Omra, a major de canum, into baby a jina, and in semi and why I did today, and would be a chance and MP before Zaba. And before so almost one more 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 one more